I know it's not a cure. It's, it's just really to help try to make some of the connections and get going. And we know that when we get back home, we're going to be back on a harder schedule, more work for her uh, to hopefully gain the improvements that we want. Kaylin, um, she was born perfectly healthy. Um, just about two years right before her second birthday, she suffered. She fell playing with her brothers, and we ended up taking her to the hospital. And at the hospital, they were running some tests. And in the MRI, after she finished the MRI process, she extubated herself, so she lost oxygen. And since then, she suffered a brain injury, and she's basically uh, physically disabled. Uh, she has some motor function, but has not been able to do anything with it. She can't walk, talk, crawl, um, any of that stuff, but she is highly, she understands and is completely aware of everything around her. It's just primarily physical now. Um, at, ever since she's, she had the injury, both at the hospital and after that, me and her dad have always been very aggressive with the different therapies as well as there a lot of them are very alternative type therapies so um we right now in the current therapy that we're working on she we do about 10 to 12 hours a day uh seven days a week and it's it's pretty pretty aggressive and it involves physical as well as occupational speech uh intellectual because i homeschool her so in those 10 to 12 hours we do anything and everything this isn't the first time We've done stem cells. We, we have done it to some extent, not to this degree um, in the past. And we've been able to maintain what we got based on doing a lot of therapy, getting her through the, the what they call the humps or the plateaus. So our expectation is to go back home, get the work you know, in her, and then hopefully see and retain the, the improvements. Um, this isn't a holiday for us. May seem like it, but, <laughs> but normally we look at it more as it's just the beginning to the next step. Here in in the hospital, it's just really adjusting to the time and and getting accommodated to being in a hospital. And you're not in a hotel, so I mean, it's but you're here to do this, so you're going to be in the hospital. So I mean, just get what you need, and I mean helping. Uh, it doesn't. It helps at the malls, the little grocery stores across the street. So, but and just kind of go out there and talk with the different families and get to know. I mean, that's one of the things that we were able to do and, and get to know others that are going through the situation. And everybody has their little bit of advice. So, I mean, I think that would help if you get out there. Don't stick yourself in the room, kind of thing. <laughs> what we've noticed, and we're very hesitant about trying to see stuff without really realizing it, but um, she seems to be getting, or appears to be getting stronger. Um, she's very weak in her upper extremities. So with this, as we've been going through the stuff and the stem cell treatment, she seems to, or appears to be getting stronger, uh, both in the trunk, um, as well as in the arms. Before her movement was very uh, sporadic and very robotic. Um, now it seems to be more purposeful. Um, she still she reaches like she used to, but it, it seems to be more on her intent, and she seems to get to the stuff better now. A few people have yeah. seen her. Seen so her. All, all of our family. Our family has. Yeah. Um, I know from my side of the family, their thoughts has been a. She grew <laughs> she definitely tremendously grew. <laughs> while she was there. <clears throat> she gained some weight. Yeah. Um, I've had a, they say a lot of better head control uh, than what she uh, had before she left is one of the things my folks had mentioned. And her cousin's husband uh, talks about her hands all the time because she's normally clenched. And since she's been back, her hands are oh, normally, her fingers are normally out. And yeah. She does have better body control, is what I've noticed. Yeah, she still appears stronger, which is something that we left there saying. Um, she, a lot of people have also told me that she seems more alert. She's always been very alert, but I think I guess it's taking it to the next level. She seems to be more into it. I, I had this question asked to me yesterday by family. <laughs> and, and I told him, 
it's not the magic bullet. Mm -hmm. Right, it's, and we're not going there another, thinking it's, it's going another to run be. on the ladder of right. things you need to do to get to that place where you get some gain for your child or the adult or whoever it may be. Um, if you go there with the idea that it's the magic bullet, you're in for a lot of it's, disappointment. Yeah. For um, us, like I think, and I said it in the previous discussion, that to us it's more like it's a boost to her system to get us to that next step, whatever that may be. I tell them about my experience. I thought it was, I think it's a beautiful place to go, first of all, to sightsee, and then second of all, the experience over at the hospital was just fabulous to me. Uh, that's my opinion. I mean, I've been all over the world, and the staff was so accommodating and helpful. Even outside of the hospital, everybody was just so helpful and accommodating. You know, you didn't feel like you were out of your country. Right. You know, you, I, I felt at home. I, I felt comfortable with being there and with the people and everything. So I would recommend it. But as far as the distance, I don't think we've ever we decided. Like, we haven't really looked at distance. It's mm. where do we think is the best benefit for her? And if we believe that it's going to be back in either Shingdao or Shanghai or wherever the hospital is at that point, um, it doesn't matter to us.